Hi everyone, I'm Mary Ellen Yates with LuLaRoe Mary Ellen Yates. I want to talk today about the Irma. Super comfy and versatile. There's so many things you can do with it. So I want to show you a whole bunch of different ways to wear it and style it and show you that you don't have to stick with your one size that fits you. Multiple sizes can fit many different body types. Obviously all of these options won't be um, the right choice for every single body type, but I just want to give you some ideas so that you can have permission to um, play with your Irma. So I'm about 5'2", I'm about 140 pounds, I'm um, top heavy, like I have a larger chest, and so that's where I'm coming from um, when I'm talking about sizes. So I'm wearing right now an extra, extra small. You can see that the sleeves are fitted. You can see that it's a higher up rounded um, neckline and that it's a low to high hemline where it's short in the front and longer in the back. So this is the extra, extra small for me. I'm wearing it as a tunic, which is a common way that a lot of people will wear the Irma and they'll put it with leggings. Let me show you something else. Okay, so I was wearing an extra, extra small and then extra small is going to be a little more flowy. Personally, the extra small is my favorite fit in the Irma. But then this is a small, and I have a lot of smalls. And what I tend to do with the flowiness, since it's a little more flowy than I care for, and everyone's preference is going to be different, because I my sister wears like an extra, extra small in an Irma. That would probably be her size, and she wears a medium um, sometimes because she loves um, how flowy it is. But for me, I like to wear a belt when it's getting to about a small if I'm wearing it with leggings. Let me show you some other things that I do with a small. Now here I have the Irma um, tucked into a skirt. Now all the tops you can tuck in um, to skirts and you can tuck it into all the skirts. But um, I like it tucked in and this is a Cassie skirt I'm wearing with it and I have a thin belt. You can do a thin or a thick belt at where the um, skirt and the top meet. I like how that looks but you can also do it without a belt if you don't have a belt and it still looks cute as well and let me show you like this is with a Lucy and I have it tied here so you can have it tied it creates ruching going to your belly which actually hides your belly and you can do that as well and then you have the um, it tied up higher so it gives you a longer line the skirt gives you that longer line let me show you another thing I do now if I don't feel like wearing the skirt as high up, I mean the skirt's still high up, but what I have instead is with the Irma, I have, it kind of creates ruching still hiding my belly, and then you see how it has a cute little design in the back. All I did was I tied it with a ponytail, and then I tucked in the ponytail. That's all I did, and then it gives you this look, so then the top is a little further down, but it's not down all the way so that I, you still see quite a bit of my skirt. And you can also just belt the um, Irma, and you can do this in multiple sizes, and then wear it with a skirt, like the Cassie skirt, and it gives you um, a cute um, figure as well. And if you don't like it as long in the back, you can just pull it up a little bit and have it a little more blousey um, over the belt, and then it's uh, not as quite as long down. And then with this, you can also, with Irma's, you can tie them over dresses and create like a skirt and dress look, um, which can be a great uh, mixing and matching of your wardrobe, great staple pieces. So with this, I have a Julia on. Julia is a super comfort comfortable kind of pencil dress that's form-fitted. Um, people tend to go up a size maybe if they're not as comfortable with their stomach. Um, this is a really cute and comfortable dress. But for some people, if they have a belly that shows, they're a little more self-conscious. So this is a great way to hide the belly, but to still have the comfort of the Julia dress. So I just tied it in the middle like I was talking about on this mannequin. And the tying creates that ruching, which hides my belly, but then also I can wear a Julia. And you can um, mix and match all the tops with all the different dresses to do this look as well. So now let's get into... Um, Irma's that might be um, too big for you to wear as a tunic. This is getting into a medium. It's a little more flowy than I care for. So this is these are some things that I can do with a medium. So I put my body through the neck hole of the Irma and I have the sleeves hanging down. And what I can do is I can make it into a halter.
It is a little snug in there, and then you have this cute ruching. And you can wear it with a skirt, or some people will wear it with leggings as well. And then you have like a little tie in the back. So that's it. That's the Hermesa halter. And you can do this with multiple sizes. It doesn't have to be the next size up. It can be with larger sizes as well. You can also make the Irma into a dress. Now, instead of um, tying the sleeves up around as a halter, I just tied them right under my bosom. And you see I have a cute um, Cassie skirt underneath to give me a little more length, but you don't have to do that. You can have it without too if you prefer it shorter. Now you can also tie it above, up here, to, like more towards your breasts. It's cute there as well. And then also behind you, you can tie it and it, you have the knot in the back and it, all, it has all cute um, like flow of the material. Let me show you something else. I can also bring the neck hole a little lower. So instead of above my chest, um, chest I can bring it at a natural waistline and I have a classic tee tucked in underneath it. And then I just tie it again like I was doing before and I can create a skirt. Nice flowy skirt. So you can do that as well. And let me show you some, something else. And yet again, another look. This is another way to make Irma a dress. So I have that medium Irma that I had on earlier, but I put it backwards so that the longer part would be in the front. So it would be longer. And then I have a larger, um, a large Irma on over it and I've created a dress. Now you can have it like this, or if you want to create more of a waist, which is which I tend to like to do since I don't really have much of a waist. So just belt it, and then look how cute. You have your hourglass look, and it looks like a skirt underneath, or a dress. Super cute, super comfy. So this is another way that you can make an arm into dress. You would want, I like to put a size smaller underneath just because I'm layering over um, to keep the flowiness going. But, and then you just find um, Irma's that are complement each other. Like these have some, both have pinks. They don't have to be the exact color, but just so that they complement each other. Okay, now let's fast forward to a 3XL. I have a 3XL on, I have the neck above my chest and I'm gonna make it into a dress. just like I did with the medium earlier. I just wanna show you that you can do multiple sizes to do different things. So you wanna think about what you're doing. So if you see, and see I did it um, on my chest this time. And you see how it's cute. I actually like it bigger. I like the way it um, fits me better. But I just wanna show you that you can do multiple sizes. So if you see a print that you love, you don't have to pass it up just because it's not your typical size. So these are just a few ideas. Um, I'm sure I did not show all of the ideas of how you can wear an Irma, because there are many. But I would love to see how you wear your Irma or um, some different tips or ideas of how to wear it. Um, I love seeing pictures or videos in my shopping group, Lulero, Mary Ellen Yates. So I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Thanks guys, thanks for watching, bye.